everybody, everybody, it's Wednesday! This is my cousin, John Paul. He is on the website. He started a discussion about zombies because he's cool and he knows that zombies are superior. Corey, I'm wearing these glasses for you. I just got out of the shower and I look really awkward, but I'm not wearing my contacts anymore because it's late. And so I'm wearing my glasses and this is for Corey. John Paul, you want to say something? Hmm? You want to talk about Judy Bloom? No. He read some Judy Bloom books. He read like Fudge Mania and Super Fudge and Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing. Tell everybody um, how much zombies are better than unicorns. Well, let's see. A zombie could eat a unicorn's little pointy thing on their forehead. and then We'd like to call that a stick. Yeah, a stick. Not and a then they could eat their brains. Mm -hmm. That'd be really cool. What would a unicorn do to a zombie? Like, like, show it, what, like, like, lick it or something. Yeah, I know, I nuzzle it. And like, then they'll probably, like, throw like up. Like, brains versus, like, where you at now? And they'll probably, like, throw up if it licked it because it's so deep. It's, like, enchanted. You can see my parents in the background. Do you guys know when I'm filming a video? Right, this is my parents. Yeah. Actually, the video recorder's sitting on a coffee pot. It is. I don't. I don't have a tripod, but I do have stuff that I can stack. And you, you know me. I mean, it has to be a coffee pot. You know how I like coffee. I love coffee. I drink entirely too much coffee. That's why she's kind of acting all hyper. And I totally messed up my knee today. I got my leg caught in a boat. It's beautiful. Actually, if I could show you the bruise, I would. Hold on. Jump on the boat. I'm going to see if I can bend in a fun position. Okay, let's see. Ow, baby. Okay. Can you, can you see that? Um, I don't know if I can do that. Oh, it hurts, though. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. And I watched The Ring this weekend. I scared him. I scared him badly. Today I'm going to talk about Sloppy First by Megan McCafferty. I read this book on the way to Austin when I went there for spring break to visit uh, University of Texas. And I really, really liked it. It was really good. It's about this girl named Jessica Darling, and she's really, really smart. And her best friend moves, and she's trying to deal with that. And she doesn't like her uh, friends, who she calls the Clueless Crew. And... Um, there's this guy named Marcus Flutie who's kindly, ki kindly, who's kind of always around, and stuff happens with that, and her friend Scotty likes her, and then he stops liking her, and, um, becomes kind of a jock, and, yeah, and her... Her mom is obsessed with her sister's wedding and wants her to be more like her sister because her mom's a lot like her sister and her dad's obsessed with her running because Jessica runs track. And Jessica doesn't like that she's always, she always has to be the way somebody else wants her to be. She, she just wants to be herself. And she has some problems with that and she's always angsty and she's always upset and it's just like a perfect, a perfect teenage girl basically because it's just like us it's really good I like this book a lot and it's a series there are uh, five books total and perfect fits is the fifth one it comes out in April I think yeah it's really good I really recommend it look what I got this is like my fifth or sixth thing from them this year yeah I'm gonna cover up my address but look New York University it makes me very 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 happy I would do my happy dance, but I don't, yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to show you my room because you've already seen my room. This is the only thing in my room that's interesting. That wall right there. That's my, my thing of stuffed animals. Uh, that's my um, posters, my Yoda poster, my Wicked poster, the kitties, my friend and I skating, something my friend Grace drew for my birthday. My obsession with Harry Potter's parents, a caricature of me skating. That's the only interesting thing. There's my bed, this is my desk. That's it. Genevieve, I'll see you tomorrow.